By the way, no one showed up for the Tyranids versus uh, Kriegsman, so I'm rerunning that at a different time uh, whenever I get the slot opportunity. <clears throat> now I'm thinking, do I want to build... I mean, it's all going to have to be built eventually, but let's, let's build the custom comps. Because those are more fun. Let's see what I can do for buses here, because there's actually a few different types I can work with. I just want to make sure I go through everything. Actually, what was it under? Oh, 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 I forgot. I'm adding that. I'm adding that right fucking now. Hold on. How much should I charge for this? I want to see it done, so I'll put it up for a hundred. Fuck it. What is this thing called? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm adding that. All right. So this is why I wanted to do a few of these streams so I would get ideas for stuff like that. But let me see what other car bus models I have just so I can put those off to the side. Because I know other bus models exist, but I don't know if they're just in cup. Because that's where I might have seen them. Because there's a, there's a smaller bus, but I think it's cup based, so that's okay. Now, in order to make this work properly, I'll probably have to triple stack them. So something like that. And then that gives us a lot of room up top. I can build like a sandbag uh, protection bunker and whatnot. I can up armor the driver here. So we can do something like... Where's that one sandbag where it has a little driver slit? Yeah, that. But, you know, I, I love Banding's content, man. A long time ago, he made me a custom anime intro. Because what I would do was uh, inspiring to him. And ever since, I have just been a fan. Now, real quick, I need to see if I put someone in the driver's seat here. Where is he sitting? Where is he looking? Okay, so I have to height heighten that to be about that. Cool. Oh, yeah, his music choice is also superb. Like, everything he does is just superb in that sense. So, I'm going to quickly tab out. I need to grab the, um... Attach, uh, where's... No, 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 no. Come on, no, no, no. Attach to relative. No one uses attach to anymore. And if they do, and they're using the set, uh, vector command, I feel so bad for them. Because ever since they came out with Attached to Relative, that's what you need to do. There's a few, very few instances where you do not want to use Attached to Relative, but... It's, um... It's very rare. Like, that's for, like, scripting stuff. All right, so... How am I going to do this scripting-wise? Let's do BCM for B, uh, bus component main.
and uh, BCM and BC zero. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'm basically doing is I'm assigning a bunch of variable names to the components here, and then we're just going to write a massive attached to list. So every time I put something down, what I can do is I can <clears throat> copy this. And we're at three right now. But see, the cool thing is when I copy paste, the way I named it, it'll automatically name itself at... Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what did I just name as... Oh, oh. Uber. When you underscore it like that, yeah, blah, 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 different valuable. Let me show you now. See, it automatically goes up a tick because you can't have the same one. So if you do underscore and then the number, it'll do it for you. So if you need to copy and paste multiple textures, that's how you get away with something like that. That's how I mass produced fluffers without having to change all the variable names. I just set it that way and then whatever got assigned as that name, I ran with. And then I went to Notepad++, wrote a script to change all the, all the variables. And uh, basically reassign 103 variables for me in a um, list. That way, you don't have to just go up and constantly do copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, and then, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Though that is therapeutic. You know, I need a little hole here because, in all honesty, I need a ladder. Because how did they get up there, you know? We gotta, we gotta make it somewhat realistic, right? That's, that's the wrong type of ladder piece. Ooh, a little stubby ladder. Is it tall enough, though? Eh, realistic enough. I like it. Okay. Uh, let me get... Get that. Actually, realistically, so it's B B18 would be this designation. Cool. Attach a C-Wiz to a go-kart and put four ace wheels on it and make it a drivable. Yeah. No, I mean, we'll, um... Wait, what am I doing? No, 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 no. You're trying to copy the fucking Z variable forehead. There we go. But I will say, uh, guys, if you don't mind, let's hold the ideas until I finish the three things. And then while I'm doing, like, general mission development, we can do that. That way I don't get, you know, confused on trying to tackle various things at once because my head will explode. Okay, so this one, I don't mind if the other two explode because it's just reactive armor, but... I need this one to be invincible. See, and it sucks because I know for a fact that even if we set it to invincible, it's not going to care. So the best thing I can do is also disable ace damage cook up. And hope for the best. All right, now what do we want to stack this battle bus with? We got all this room up top to do stuff. So obviously... You know, actually, we have a unique opportunity here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we need to upgrade the battle bus. Wouldn't you agree? Actually, real quick. All right, remember these numbers for me. 13. Okay, 4, 6, 10, and 13. Actually, I'm going to tab out. 4, 6, 10, 13. So I can reassign variables later. But, all right. Here's why. Because we're, um... We're using TIOW, right? So... Why not upgrade it to something TIOW? Where's Reznov? And since they're going to mainly be fighting infantry. I'm just saying. So what were they? Uh, four? Six. Oh, see, because I have it copy-pasted. So it's going to uh, run the numbers automatically. Ten and thirteen. Awesome. See, that's why I like doing indexing like that. Because it just automatically assigns the numbers for you. Where's Rachel? And then, of course, up top, we have to put a Praetorian. <clears throat> All right, so let's go to NATO. Because they're going to be fighting blue four factions. Ah, perfect. And then we can just copy this. Actually, no, the last one would be uh, 18, which is the latter, so it's actually 19. And there you go. That's a pretty all right battle bus. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I think it, it has enough uh, murder on it to uh, to last us a little while. Need some flags? What flag should we... We'll put NATO's flags on it. Hold up. Actually, we'll do... No, there's no... Yes! Yes! We'll do two flags. We'll do uh, the 700th Cadian. And we'll do the NATO flag. NATO, NATO, NATO. Line the outside with coffins. Yeah, sure. So I'm a break up, um, but that'll be it. Because I want to try to keep the attachments below 50. Because I've noticed at 100, they tend to be a little laggy. The flag got caught on itself. Ay, ay, ay. Now, do we do military coffins or regular coffins? Or do I want to be an asshole? Yeah, we're going to be an asshole. Well, man. How disrespectful do we want to be? <laughs> oh, my God. Someone better buy this damn thing.
No, I'm, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't bring myself to do the American flag. I'll do the regular flag. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't bring myself to do it. I'll do the regular ones as a 40k gag, but I can't. Can't bring myself to do it, guys. I still have a conscience. Sorry. And I know probably some of you are thinking, what? Lyra has a conscience, but he does all this crazy stupid shit. Yeah, with the player's permission. Foreheads. All right. Yeah, I forgot to rename it. Okay, so 20. 21. Sir, this is a Wendy's. All right, so I'm going to index this one. <clears throat> Do it with the wooden ones? Um I kind of I kind of like the me uh the metal a little bit. Kind of like the metal a little bit more here. Okay. So yeah, I can up armor these two. Because only that one's going to be driving. Oh god, I you know, I knew we were going to get into some crazy shit today, but I didn't think we'd have to go into ballistic physics for coffins. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I already know I'm going to hell for all the things I've done in my past, but good golly gee willikers. What variable are we at? 41? So, nine more before we hit the 50 limit? Ah, it should be fine. They're lockers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, 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 just lockers. Right. Right. Don't worry about it, it's just lockers. The desperate things we do to pay our mortgages in the United States. Let's go with that. <laughs> World's all sorts of scuffed. Now you got some partially famous idiot putting coffins outside of buses for entertainment. What does the world come to? What's this majesty called? A battle bus. We're gonna say they got lazy during the final stages of development. All right, how many is that? 62. Okay, well. This is gonna take a hot second to load. It does have weak spots. The top is the weak spot. <laughs> Oh god, do I I just I wanna write custom number scripts, but <sighs> Are you ready, kids? So how's everyone's day? Since I'm gonna be at this one for a while. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell either way. Do 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 do. Tootie, 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 tootie. It's called 
reactive armor. Okay? Okay? It, don't worry about it. Where there's a will, I'm sure the player base will find a way. Alright? And if they don't, then... Um... Shit. You know? Just, 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 just let it happen. It's all you gotta do, buddy. Just, just, just let it happen. God, I'm doing this in such a dumb way. I could write a script for it, but... I don't know. I'm in the zone. Why? Why is it... Yeah, like, it's making me have to click, uh... Go there twice now. Oh, man. Map misspelled? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just the Glob Mob DLC map. I don't know how to spell that damn thing. I can barely English half the damn time. And you expect me to be able to spell a map name correctly? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I need to go back and work at Burger King. Even though I never worked there in the first place. But that's the joke. Okay, everything else after this can be deleted. And now we need to test this stupid thing. Please tell me I was smart enough to put a Game Master slot down already. No, I was not. Okay, well... I guess now's a good time... ...to not be an idiot. What time is it? It's almost noon, so I have two hours, and I need to go build a dev thing for later today for channel announcements. So we have two hours to build stupid shit. What do you mean, how do I get infinite resources? Dean, fries are done. In Zeus, uh, you just put a standard module down. You make sure you don't have any of the custom functions to assign you limited resources. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. And I need to add ace functionality so I can see. <sighs> Alright. Let's go, Mr. Krabs. How? Why did you almost spawn a helicopter, you goober? Ah, whatever. So, uh, hypothetically, give me uh, a fifty five and two squads of something, anything. African desert extremists speak Farsi. All right. The more you know. See that? 
is actually kind of cool because only the central one is set up. All right, I'm going to level with you guys. This is fucking terrifying. That's the other one blown out. Oh, man. All right, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Upgrades. Number one. That's cheating if the turrets explode. Number two, I don't mind this exploding, but we need to make it better. Let's see what other quote-unquote DACA I can add to it, all right? I really don't want to go above 75. Oh my gosh, Bramble, don't wipe your nose filled with snot on my leg. You can't do that to me, boo. There's no flamethrower static, unfortunately. I could add, uh, auto turrets. A Centurion wouldn't engage ground targets. A front-mounted last cannon. I don't have anywhere to put such a device. I'm thinking, like, we put stuff up on the rails. I'm not running Grimdark, so I don't have the tall statics. Which is why I hate TIOW, because everything to sit down. But you gotta remember, guys... It's going to be infantry. I can't make it faster because that would mean I'd have to reattach everything to a quicker vehicle. So I'm actually fine with the speed. I want the speed to be somewhat realistic. So I think the best way to add more DACA... No, wait, don't I have... Hold on. Where are my experimentals? Ramble, sweetie. Like, the Praetorians also act as AA. They'll only engage vehicles, which is fine. Uh, because I'm going, I'm playing this for actual combat capability, not show. Like, I want this thing to fuck people up. And I know what'll fuck people up. But there is a certain static I'm looking for. Not those. Where are they? They might have been rotated out, but I could have sworn. Why are you putting your paw there, you pervert? <laughs> I need to test that real quick. I was looking for a different one, but I think we rotated that one out, unfortunately. I don't think our uh, trophy system works yet. I could give it a trophy system.
Where is it? So the T-14 has a script from RHS where it has a built-in trophy system of any projectile that comes uh, close to it will fail to detonate. Uh, it'll just d uh, despawn. So, Bramble, you needy little bitch. Now the question is... Will the tank cannon work from within there? The script will run. I'm not going to hide the T-34 because I want to use the cannon. So that's your front firing cannon. All right. I know people are memeing on me because I just mentioned stuff about realistic. But realistically, this would be a different battery system. And I could do hide scripts to hide everything but the actual um, turret. But I'm lazy. Plus, this would give it a 360 degree turret to shoot stuff with. You people wanted it to have more DACA. Are you fucking kidding me? You deleted all of my pre-saves again, you stupid motherfucker. Give me one second. I gotta go into a previous file and load um, some saves. Uh, so I can save the thingamajig. Uh, via its ace settings, and then reload it. Yeah, I can load six, and it'll be fine. I need to put my fan on. Bramble, where are you? I gotta make sure I don't crush you. Uh, Tootie, I don't have... If you can hand me a script that would ref uh, reset the Praetorians to fire something like that, then yes. But... Turbo Laser... That would... Are you talking about the 40k... Uh, Warhound Turbo Laser? Because I think that's what you mean by that. But yeah, no, hand me a script to remake it. I'll remake, um... Yeah, I'll remake them. I don't think it'll become full auto unless you have a script to change its reload speed. Because I think that's defined within the weapon config itself. But sure, we can experiment. I don't care. I'm always, uh, down for a little action. Three years, Fox. Jesus. It becomes a death beam. God, I don't... Don't let it kill my server then, please. For the love of God. Don't let it kill my server. 2D, I'm not gonna lie. Um, balance-wise... <laughs> I'm gonna remove the trophy system then because I can't have an unkillable death laser. <laughs> As a fucking... Oh. No, we're not gonna have my server catch on fire. <laughs> 
Oh, my God. No, we're not doing unkillable death lasers. <laughs> Please. I have limits. There are limits. But let's see how these, uh, these smaller cannons work. Aw, oh, but Dad... Here's the deal. We'll put the unkillable death laser on the kill dozer. But we'll have the T-14 visible so something can shoot it. Limits are there to be broken. What the hell? Didn't save everything. Just give everyone AT. Again, the trophy system will delete the rockets before they impact anything close. And it is instant, all right? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Rockets wouldn't work at that point. But Shadow, thank you for the 30-month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a kick out of this scenario. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Load! Oh, is it because I hit cancel? I probably hit cancel because I'm an idiot. How does one deal with the trophy system? You use a different type of weapon, like a tank shell. But any anything that involves a rocket or a bomb would get deleted. Baluk, thank you so much for the 42 month resub at tier two. I hope you keep enjoying the operations and I hope you get a kick out of this. But let me show you. Let me let me just show you what this would hypothetically do if I already just get an RPG guy. Why why did you game? Hard kill triggered, unlimited test mode. And you see how the tank's barrel immediately turned to face me? And how my rocket disappeared? Do you see the issue? I see the issue. Also, my frames are getting eaten. Oh, dear. Because they, I think they update and they changed the, uh, the trigger. But yeah. Yeah. Guys. Guys, do you see the range of this trophy system? Do you see why it's very overpowered? So I say this again. You either get the trophy system or you get the turbo lasers. And if Tootie gives me that script, I'm going to make the decision for you. We're only going to do the motherfucking turbo lasers because that thing's actually causing some trigger issues and some lag spikes. And I actually don't really like that. Ready. All right, let's see. Are you against infantry or are you against vehicles? Oh my god, it shoots infantry. What are you... What are you equipped with? Oh. Oh. Um. Do you, do you work against APCs too? Standing by. Standing by. I love how the smoke's actually confusing it. Um... RPGs work against it, right? Okay, just one. Alright, yeah, cool. Um... Well, that was fucking terrifying. Okay. Cool.
Wow. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so my question then becomes where does this fit? So the issue with it, though, is the lasers might hit it, but I think the AI will hopefully stop itself. But either way, um... Let's actually do it like this. Let's put them on the side over here. I think that's... I think that's enough. <laughs> I think, uh... I think that's gonna be enough. Duty, let me know when you, uh, when you write that script and I'll go ahead and test it on the bus. But let's, uh, let's work on our next thing here, so... How are we going to fortify this puppy? So we have a flat top up here to do stuff. Don't want to use the T14 because of how laggy it is, but I have a better idea. Okay. Let me, let me grab this one script real quick. We could do rocket artillery. Do you guys want AA or rocket artillery in the back? I can't fit both. Actually, no, I do. I do want a BM twenty one. Because it's got a no, we got to we got to nerf the fire rate. Send in go team six now. Hey Larry, thanks for the well, seven month resub at T3. Ends. Sadly, but you know why so I know, Larry. I hope you're okay you're doing okay, IRL, man. Really. I I hope it all goes well, and I thank you for everything you've done, man, and I hope to see you again soon. Everyone, uh, can you wish Larry well? Because he's going through some IRL stuff. I'll let him go in on it if he wants to, but he 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 needs some good vibes. If you don't mind. Pray for Larry. Work with me here, guys. But Larry, when you get yourself sorted, feel free to come back. Give me an op concept and we'll run it, all right, buddy? But definitely, go take care of you first. Seriously, can't stress that enough. Of how important something like that is. Oh, 
Oh yeah. It's all coming together. I don't have heavy flamers. I don't have any way to do a flamethrower turret, guys. I'm sorry. TB3, Nightfall, thanks so much for the tier one sub, my man. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you're getting a kick out of what the heck we're doing here. So Nillers, who's the community manager for Arma, uh, he sent me something a while ago saying, hey, can you, like, help promote the uh, the Art of War DLC? Sure, buddy. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> as I could sneak the VTOL in as a unit, but, oh, God, that's going to be even... It's going to be even worse. Right, oh, Larry. I keep copying the wrong thing because my head's focusing on too many things at once. Ah! Oh, yeah, some of the screenshots community members made was uh, really nice. Like, the whole thing was just a screenshot DLC, which, you know, it makes sense because Arma, Arma wants to do a little bit of everything, you know? All right. So guys, we have a little bit of room up here. What should we put down? I can either put a vehicle turret in here or we can, like I could do a, uh, let's see. Tow missile launchers. No, I can't do the T14 because that trophy system's being too laggy for my taste. I'm sorry. I will put a trophy system on the war games, though. All right? Give me a second. Give me a second. I need to go dig a script up. Um, object texture. Because I know it looks wonky, but, but watch this. We can slowly fix it. Yeah, we'll do it one at a time here, because I forget which one's what. And then you can just leave this blank. As long as you don't put anything in there. And it'll start hiding components of the thing. Yeah, the Death Submarine is the USS War Games. I named that in honor of War Games Inc., who brought me into the 506 to do one of my favorite Zeus operations. No! 
I know why. You see, kids, this is why you write the attached to framework before you start your experimentation on other things. <laughs> okay, let me fix that real quick. Um, so it'll be six. Yeah, Brewer came back. I heard him. I gotta go say hi. He's a sergeant now. It's funny. So this would be... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, all right, cool. How many chaff launchers? I don't know if there's actually a way to spawn a chaff launcher, a launcher module. You'd have to rescript its fire. Uh, weaponry capabilities instead. So that hid the body. So I think number one will hide the rest of the track, and then number two is the turret, because number zero is the body. It's going to leave the tracks floating, though, which... I could do some minor adjustment there, and we could do something like, um that and just have them awkwardly sticking out like it's fine and then we can put like a tow launcher right here in the middle another thing let me see if this will work because i actually never thought about this before but what if under ace damage i'm gonna disable cook off uh we Where's where's the advanced damage? Yeah. What if I set its tracks? To be destroyed. Okay, and then I would have to do something like uh what's it called? Where where is it? Because I think they added it to the AI options. Um If not, Tootie, if you're still here, you know the script that locks players into uh into vehicles? I'm gonna need that. But I could have sworn... I think it's on the AI itself. That they added it in here. But I, I could have sworn I saw an option that was a checkbox. Yes, yes, wait. That's it, yeah, okay, stay on position. Uh... If he's in the vehicle, does that give him the option? Because I could have sworn there was an option now as a checkbox to force him to stay in the Vic. I could have sworn I saw something like that. If not, I can do it the scripted way. I just have to dig up that script, and I know Tootie has it. Oh, well. All right, let's uh, let's just see what this looks like before I assign vectors to it. Forbid disembark option in the vehicle itself. That's it. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. God, those turrets moving is terrifying. 
So it keeps the tracks even though we have the tracks deleted and destroyed. But for now, let's let's see what we got. Yeah, so the tr so it doesn't matter if we destroy the tracks or not, but <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and it actually, like, dismounts you partially on it, but you fall through. Oh. <laughs> That's terrifying. See, when this thing lands, it has physics. So you can actually get up here, but let's, uh... Okay, that's the driver for that vehicle. Wait, what's the ride in the back option? Okay, there's only two seats. Yeah, that's terrifying. Okay, uh, and then... What about the back? Here, so if I were to angle this exactly... Huh. Neat. Well, the artillery computer is going to make it go straight in the air. Also, I have it disabled, Lamau. Neat. Very, very neat. Well, then. So... Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I do say that. My bad. Forbid disembarking. Alrighty. Killdozer versus Battle Bus. Yeah, the Vicks work best when they're fully crewed. And then we want a front-firing ATGM. So do you got... Okay. Uh, Cormit or Toe? Uh, type Cormit or T-O-W. Uh, co R Is it M-E-T? I don't know. Let's let's pull you guys. Do you want a Cormit or Toe in the middle right there? Cornet. It's with an N. That's it. Two for Cornet. Here, and while we pull that, I just want to see if the uh, AI will dismount that vehicle. Uh, two, two, three and three, four and four, five and five, and then Toe all of a sudden gets a lead of four, five votes. All right, Toe it is, because Toe just uh, won last second there. And awesome, they're staying in that Vic. Excellent. Toe it is. I'm sorry, guys. But Toe, Toe won last second there. Hold on, real quick. I just, I gotta turn. When, when we get a really good banner on the net, you know, we gotta... Gotta turn that up. Stimulating a scanning for iridium. A one tail holds it. 
Malin wants to pre-order an Apache <laughs> for himself. All right, I'm waiting on Tootie to give me that turbo laser script, but otherwise, I think I like where this is gone. There's one script, though, that I want to add. Let me go ahead and turn that back down. But there, there's one script that... Needs to be used here. Nope, we're, I'm saving the Zeppelin for last, and then we're going to do some more ideas. All right, Malin. What type of Apache, what pylons do you want? Real quick, I'll get back to this. Uh, what do you want on it? Do you believe it's AZ? No. Ah, fuck it. I believe this is where I order the Apache. Age 64, that's it. AZ is the, the other one, the Navy one or something like that. Uh, Age 64D. Sixteen AGM one one four L. You got it. Let's see. All right, that should be enough clearance. Attributes. But Malin, I I do. Uh, you should stay low because uh, I'll I'll just move debug back even further. But if you get shot down by debug, there's not much I can do. Uh, and then you wanted AGM one one four L. Uh, do you want AM nines or ATAS on it? ATAS, you got it. AGM 114L. Four times. Now, uh, there is no resupply for vehicles that has to be purchased, by the way, and then we'll we can pre-make it, but cool. Ah uh, yeah, it's the double the double AA. I see why you went for that. Alright. Not the ace one, please? Okay, okay, sorry. Uh attributes. Yeah, tributes back to pile. Sorry, I uh, I just saw that and went for it. But that's why you're here, so you can tell me. So I believe these ones will automatically... Uh, do you want the 310 or the 299? Two nine nine, you got it. Cool. All right. That should be good. <laughs> and Azariah is now having you want to come into Team Speed. <laughs> yeah, I might have to move debug back a little bit because an engagement range of ten clicks. I'll wait for Tootie to finish the script, and I'll see uh, what happens. If not, I'll uh, I'll drag that back. I'm gonna slap some sense into you. <laughs> Bet. All right. So anyway, back to what this is. This is an infinite ammo script, and I'm gonna put it on a few things. Uh, the heavy auto cannons already have a shit ton of ammo tied to them, so I'm not gonna do it on those. But I know for a fact the Praetorians are gonna want it because of what Tootie's working on. Yes, we're doing the war games. Don't worry. Don't you worry. All right. Now, first and foremost, where am I going to put the helicopter module? 
Because I have to be careful about where I put it. Usually I use a uh, Chinook. Because it's more maneuverable and less loud than the um, CH-47, but I want it to be loud, so we'll do the CH-47. Put infinite ammo on the rocket artillery? I already did. That was the first thing we put the script on, you silly goober. Because why wouldn't you want infinite ammo rocket artillery? But to explain what the code does, basically, event handler fired. When you fire your gun, the bullet comes out, and all the scripts tied to that are tied to that. But it's also adding another event to say, hey, when this fires, the set vehicle ammo goes to one, which is this coefficient. Uh, in the game's logic, it's set from one to zero, and then a percentile based on a decimal point from zero and one. So it's basically saying, hey, every time you shoot the ammo, set it back up to one. So it's infinite. <laughs> yeah, it's a boolean. And for those of you who don't know what a boolean is, because there's actually a lot of people that don't code out there, it's a, it's an infinite ammo script. It just keeps executing every time it's fired. Ah, yes, I can put whatever I want in terms of flares. <laughs> Wait a second. No, 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 that's... Wait, why are you set to 320? Did I just put that in the wrong Z coefficient? I might have just put that in the wrong Z coefficient. No. Wow, that hitbox is all sorts of screwed up. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, we can just line it up manually. That's gonna fall. But I need to check. I don't want this to get sniped out of the sky. So let's see. FNF is today. We start in three and a half hours? Yeah. Wait, no. One, two, two, three. Two and a half hours. Why are we sadistic motherfuckers? Because that's what brings in the money. <laughs> I'm going to hell, but I already said that. Because when that executes, it's going to fall to the ground, so if I don't set it to invincible, it's going to pancake. But I can also just move it all underground. Because I want to torture my player base. Well, duh. Who doesn't? Yeah, so it bounces, but that's viable. Now, my question is... Here, here's a, this is the really important part. You move on command, and I might actually set the driver to be a separate entity than the rest of the vehicle, because otherwise it'll aggro with the group. That moves on command, but does this move on command? Because I need a test to make sure it doesn't infinitely fly upward, confusing its hitbox. But with attached to relative, it shouldn't do that. Shouldn't be in the key word, but let's see. If it flies infinitely upward, I'll have to rethink this. It stopped. Ah. 
<laughs> oh. Oh my. Oh my indeed. <laughs> All right, so I'm separating the driver modules here because I want to set them to careless hold fire. That way they follow my order. We don't have to set him to force hold fire, but it helps. It's just how I do things. But careless, so he'll drive anywhere, regardless of he's un if he's under fire or not. That's the that's the wrong thing. Uh, that other one was lower. By the way, if you want to pre-buy anything and you want me to change anything. It's always an option. Wink. I feel like Malin's gonna come back in 20 minutes and to ask me to change the pylons. <laughs> and I have to come up with a no refunds policy. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So these little fins, right? They're really, really uh, nice aesthetics, right? Right? Right. Right, now you gotta remember, we can't put stuff upside down or past a 35 degree angle off of its median, otherwise they'll refuse to fire. So we have to keep everything kind of standing. But we've already confirmed that this, um, that will murder people. So, wink. Yeah, Jet Suck, use the mission command. This is for pay for pain, buddy, where the viewers can directly fight the players, should they choose. Um... Also, I haven't put this on the menu yet, but I will let kidnap attempts be done for a hundo. Because that's, like, directly fucking with them, but... Wait, why are you named C8 instead of main? Why do you have that? Wait, what? War Zero. War Main. Did I just accidentally double-click you instead? But why are... Okay, no, I'm just being an idiot. That's fine. So, War One. Right, and I also... Okay, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah, War Main, I just completely, again, ran too many things in my brain at once, completely lost track of what the fuck I was doing. I want you... That way I can do that. And do we want the guns forward-facing or side-facing? It doesn't really matter because it's a full 360 swivel, so... We'll do side-facing, make this a sh like a ship, you know? You know, actually, let's do two on these fins, and then the back will reserve for um, other textures. Because the cool thing now is I know how to do uh, hide textures and whatnot, so I can just uh, literally stack tank barrels on the top of this thing. But another thing I want to do to make this even cooler is give it some some sort of realistic potential bullshit. Um, would it be turbine or windmill? Oh, there's no space. That's why. Okay. So I can do a camoed one, and you gotta remember it rotates. Yeah, no, we're doing a camoed one. This is a military vehicle, baby. And we want them to be on. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll put a VLS system on the top of that puppy. Definitely, with like guided munitions. <laughs> uh what does the Red Queen say in the first Resident Evil movie to the team going down there? Uh, <clears throat> you are all going to die down here. Yeah, 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 perfect. You know, don't worry about it. So this thing rotates left and right. So what I need is uh, 15 meter spread. And how does that look? Because it's going to dynamically turn left and right here. So let's see how far it turns up. So like that. Cool. Now, can I give it a... 
three degree turn in from that. Well, actually, no, let's line it up right here and then we'll do the turn ins manually. Hold on, what what angle are you from median? 330. So it would be... Considering the 360 degree triangle path, uh, we would want to do a 30 degree turn right. Because that resets it to zero, and then a 30 degree turn the opposite way, so that should be 120 off of 330. Okay, hold up, hold up, because that just turned down a lot more than I thought. So let me reset before I did the copy-paste. So let's go forward one. I want my fucking fans to be as realistic as possible, because I'm a stickler. So if we did that, and then we turned it in two or three degrees... All right, so let's see how high that one goes. I don't mind a little bit of clipping. But now let's see how low it goes. I want real fans. <laughs> Realism! Little bit of clipping. So it goes all the way down. It's a 90 degree rotation here. So what about that? I'm sorry this is boring, but I, I... I'm me. I'm weird. I don't mind us putting fucking crazy shit for a battle bus and lining it with coffin, a blade of, ar a blade of armor. But god damn it, I want my fan physics to be perfect, okay? <laughs> I want the fan physics to be perfect. Even though it's going to get shot down so easily... I want my realistic fan physics. Damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look cool, Barb. It's an airship, so the top one spins, but I want some realistic spinning bottom ones to make it cool. So it's like, you know, out of everything I build, I want this one to actually look somewhat realistic, okay? I want airships. <laughs> I want my airship. Could go for a... Shut the fuck up, Barb. You horny little... <laughs> okay. Go to horny jail. Exactly. But thank you for all the bits, guys. Oh, wait. Hey, Devour. You ordered, um... Yeah, it does a little bit of clipping. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. 
I mean, it, it's gonna look cool enough to have that bottom fan, and they're not gonna be close enough to see that it's doing the clipping because it's gonna be j like all the way in the air. But Devour, what um, you ordered a um a dreadnought, right? What secondary weapon did you want on it? Did you want the um? The Melta, the Laz, or the Auto Cannon. I highly recommend the Auto Cannon because that one murders infantry. But the other two have some targeting issues with infantry, so that's what I would recommend personally. But it's up to you. Yeah, we had, ooh, we had a nice little like bottom component there. Ooh, modules. Bonk, go to Horny Jail. Exactly. See, and then this one I can extend a little bit. And that one can have my realistic physics. Is it far enough away, though, so it doesn't get caught in the fire of that? Yeah. Cool. Now, I assure you guys, this is going to be worth it. So, War 2, War 3... Uh, War 4... Auto cannons for days? Gotcha. Gotcha. You got it, buddy. So this would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So watch. So I'm going to lower this a bit so there's not a bounce on the vehicle. Oh, Malin's back. I didn't notice. You make this as if we're not going to be instantly killed on spawn, let's be honest. Malin! 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 I assure you, I'm going to give you enough statics and ammo to last for days, don't you worry. Now, if the viewers want vehicle spam, then you're dead. On the way. But, but, but till then, you know, just, don't worry about it. It will die on spawn? Not how I've tested it, buddy. See, doesn't that look cooler? Wait, why are you going infinitely upward now? No! 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 Ah! Uh. That's why we can't have fans, is it? It's because otherwise it goes infinitely upwards, trying to avoid the fan, but if the fan's attached, then... Damn it. Well, rest in peace, my cool-ass looking fans, I guess. Oh well. Let me just make sure that that's... That's the issue. Because it might also be the, the turrets attaching, but either way, it just means that those items' physics are the way they are. There's a way I've learned how to jank the, uh, the vehicle, but I don't want to have to micro it too hard. But I'm pretty sure it's the fans causing it. I could lengthen out the fans, but it's it's an area of effect. Yeah, yeah, Nordic. Feel free to pre-order. If you want anything special, let me know, and we'll 
we'll determine what it's uh, what's good. But yeah, see, so it's it's the fans making it think it's gonna collide with them, so it's trying to fly up to avoid them. But here, as um. I just, I just wanna experiment. And then I will have to set this to careless hold fire so it ignores stuff. But let's, uh, let's do a little test run here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, they knocked one of them out with a GL. Neat. But, uh, yeah, it, uh... It's definitely gonna work. Yes, it's on the mission command for the pay for pain list. But that looks sexy. Alright, so again, that's just a field test, uh, because I wanted to see what was causing the upwards going issue and correct it, which means we can't do our realistic fans, but there's a few other things I can do instead. <laughs> Wait. Was it working? What? Whoa, 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 no, 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 wait. Was it, was it still working with a fan? <laughs> Not enough room here, all right, send it on, um, Not send it on, uh, here. whatchamacallit, uh, Discord. Uh, Devour, I haven't made your super tank yet. That's what part of the stream's for, but I'm working on a few of the, the top menu items first. Was that... Hold on. That wasn't... Oh, that's why. Because it wasn't attached. Because I named it improperly. Okay. I was about to say, like, it, it actually works, question mark? Like, what the frick? But no, no, it's... The attach command isn't on it, so that's why it's not. Yeah, because it, 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 it wasn't assigned a variable. That's fine. All right. All right. Now we know. Now we know. Oh, you fucking idiot. I was wondering, because I copied and pasted something. I thought it was the, uh, the AA piece I selected, but no, it was the... Um, it was, I swear to God. All right, let me explain what I just did and why I'm an idiot. So I selected this because I want to put, um, I want to put these on the rear, but it already had all the scripts to hide everything except the turret part and the tracks, but you can't do anything about the tracks. So I copy and pasted it and dragged it over. What I didn't realize though, was I already had the fan copy and pasted from when I rotate on the other side, which is why it appeared and why I got confused there for a second. Also, that didn't have a new variable name. It was still C6 or whatever. And I didn't put two and two together because again, my brain is slow. So I just screwed myself and now I have to do an extra like minute and a half to two minutes of work because I'm a goober. I mean, I don't have to disable the track damage, though, because it doesn't hide the tracks themselves if they're destroyed, so. By the way, between rounds and FNF, &F, I will come in and I will work on uh, more of this stuff. Forbid. Let me get scripts. Patch the relative. Uh, it is that and that.
And then what was the variable name? Uh, C, it was six. So I think it was, uh, yeah, C underscore six. Cool. Yeah, so there we go. There's the copy and paste, and now it's going to C8, but I will change that up. Bob the Builder sure upgraded his toys. You can say that again. <laughs> All right, so that designation, and then we're on War 3, so this would be War underscore 4. So I could actually align the tracks a little bit to the fins, but that's where that gets uh, pushed off. Okay, cool. Let's look at it. Whew. What am I making? Um, Shiva. Now I am Death, Destroyer of Worlds. How... Uh... How would the player base get into the invisible go-kart, though, Trevi? Gotta ask the hard questions here. Why is there some engine smoke? There's smoke coming out of them. <laughs> yeah, so every step of the way, I'm going to do a fly test to make sure it doesn't go infinitely upward, because I hate that glitch. So all the cannons are firing. You made a coalition with the third op? Uh, that's the Operation Watchtower, right? That's fine. Just uh, DM me who's in it and who you want slotted where. As long as it's a reservable squad. Is everything dead? It's getting there. All right. And then those uh, auto cannons are also AAA capable. And now it's landed in close to uh, finish the job. Excellent. And that, that thing will fly low and slow too. Alright. So, I want to say, like, this box I'm drawing here is like the range of I don't want to spawn anything to piss it off, but we could definitely add like a front cannon, some rear cannons attached on the side. But the question is, what? 
Uh, probably a VLS. Hell, two VLSs on the back pole. Question. Because I also want to see if it updated, because this probably won't work because I know how the rules are, but... Could I manually get it to fire off the side? And then also I need to make sure this guy is set to careless hold fire. Well, so those those things right there are the Bushmasters, so they're Bradleys than, than themselves. But, uh, forced hold fire, careless, so he'll evade at leisure, but... Send the DM, cool. Uh, let's see, it's about 1 o'clock. I'm gonna stop the stream in another hour, and then we'll be back an hour later for FNF, and then in between we'll do more development, and then after FNF I will, again, continue the development. But I doubt this is going to work if I put it at this angle. But let's do a hypothetical test. This would be War 6. Uh, FNF is technically open to anyone if you want to do Centaur. Um, as or any of my other mods, could you uh, dig in my... Uh, YouTube videos and find the short for FNF and post it here. Actually, hell, it's under... Yeah. That also tells you how to do it, so... Now, again, I don't think this is going to work because the laws of Arma are if you have something rotated past 30 degrees on the left or right side, it doesn't fire, and if it's AI-based, it doesn't like to work. So, this is just to confirm what I already know, but if it does work, we'll see. It's complete check Discord. All right, give me this one second to test this thing, Tootie, and then we'll, uh, we'll go see what the hell you made. I'm scared. I'm very scared. He's just been in lecture. <laughs> it has to go on a Praetorian? Gotcha, gotcha. We'll we'll get there, buddy. Don't you worry. Yeah. So it doesn't want to fire, doesn't want to work because of that rotation. Because it thinks it's upside down, so you could set the tripod up. But what does that do? I think that restabilizes it. No, it doesn't because it's attached. So yeah, uh, it doesn't work, unfortunately. Uh, so we'd have to line it in the back as long as it doesn't exceed 30 degrees. So confirming what I already know, but just making sure that didn't get overwritten because I hate that feature that Arma 3 has, but hey, it's within the rules. All right, Tootie, I'm going to tab out and look on Discord. As, um, okay, no, you do remove the weapon. Gotcha, gotcha. Because I was about to say, you probably want to remove the, the Praetorian's uh, thingamajig. Tootie, how much am I going to hate you for this one? Tootie is, I would consider him, no offense to any of my other moderators, but my chief moderator, because he was the first. Uh, God, he was back when Alf was a mod, and then he frickin' disappeared. Apparently he hates me too, but whatever. Some people. Sorry, yeah. All right, Tootie, how much am I going to hate this?
What the fuck did you just put in my mother? F Ah, ha, ha. Ah. Ah. Ha. Okay. 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 Um. <laughs> I'm getting I'm balanced. Because what happened was the rear one shot and blew both of them up. So I can't have both of them up there because the back one's going to fire into the other one and cause both of them to cook off. But I think one on infinite ammo with the event damage handler to to, to redo will be fine. <laughs> that was 63, right? So that should be the last one. No, 64, whatever. We'll just... Oh my god. What have you done? Yeah, if you ever want to reset it, you can just do that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Wait, no, 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 you fool. No, I'm not adding that to the dump truck. That's, oh my goodness. I might add, I'll add it to the war games though, but not the dump truck if everything shoots lasers. There's gonna be nothing left. Uh, 30 is a bit of a strange threshold, so we'll do... Give me four more degrees. And then we can bridge it down the middle. And then realistically, that should work. Or I could cheese it. Do I want to cheese it instead? I could cheese it. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, War 6, War 7. So, what does that mean? Let me show you what it means. I think that's it's misaligned. Hold up, because what's the rotationary widgets on you? Yeah, that's zero based, but that's not zeroed. Okay, yeah, no, I need to redo this component. Uh, so let me copy that and just remember that it's that way. But no, 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 no. Okay, so. Sorry, I just want to make sure I get this right, but you'll see, you'll see what I mean. And I'll have to test to make sure that it f works, but um, with the flight model.
We'll do 25 degrees margins then, because getting the individuals is a pain in the butt. And we'll make it a custom fin on the back. All right, cool. Twenty-five. Three sixty it. Annual drag. War six, war seven. No rain on my parade today, what's that? I'm having too much fun. Let's make sure it still lifts. Ah <sighs> do you still have battleship cannons? Yes, but they don't like to fire on infantry. They only target vehicles, which is why I don't like them. The best way to do a battleship cannon were to be, uh... To, uh take a, a Vic and hide everything except its turret chassis. And she's not going up. Oh, I stand corrected. But she's lowering, which is the important part. Now, the other important thing... ...is that the module works. Perfect. Perfect! Yeah. Cool. Now, how do I take out the fact that part of it isn't rendered in the side because that's supposed to, you know, have the missiles underneath, but it looks kind of ugly in the clip. I'll show you. All you got to do is spawn in another one. But take out the drone setting. Get the rotation vector set. Hold on, it's not... Why is it not lined up to the Chinook? That's weird. That's disgusting. I'll take your entire stock. Ah! Yeah, make sure it's set off the base, because I don't want anything to look wonky. Do the uh, the solid. Give it a little bit of a back effect. I don't like that clip right there, though. But I can't move it too far to the right, otherwise it's going to start clipping into that gun. Unless I adjust it. To be more that way, because again, the tracks are going to be hidden. So that's going to give me more room.
and I can put it back there, and that looks uh, like a bit more of a better clip than the other one. And then what, I adjusted that. Yeah, it was 25, not 30. Oh, you're going to do this to me, are you? Okay. Yeah, I have it aligned at a different degree, that's why. But it's actually, now that I see it on the other side, that's actually a little bit cooler. So instead you have something like that. For like a rear guard. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, cool. So that would be 7, this would be 8 and 9. So it's like two faux ones, and then two real ones, but they're in set, so it's... uh. I don't, uh, when I script these to fire, I don't clip those other two and get into a potential infinite loop that would kill the server because it's trying to have these fire, but they're not at an angle to fire. What do you mean I just make it more scary? That's the point. Alright, cool. Now let's do a takeoff test. Yeah, it's like a CIS ship with the panel sticking up. It works. Oh, this thing is going to be the most expensive thing, him, and um, that's why we're going to deck it out with everything I can think of. We need a Tunguska or two on it for uh, air defense. No, the War Games is not 200. Did I set it to 200? Yeah, no, that's 300 short, buddy. <laughs> that's the... That's the expensive one. Yes, we are going to put lasers on it, too. I want to kill lasers. Alright, and it's not going infinitely upward, but... So now... If I want something dead... is gonna die. Perfect. I just wanna see, what is this, what does this look like? It's literally firing! Across multiple barrels! Do you see that? You can see the cylinder effects from all the barrels firing! I'm sorry about the ears, guys. The fucking... There should be a buffer to help the... Uh... Sorry. Sorry, I didn't realize. Oh my god. That's your Space Force tax dollars at work. <laughs> oh my god, come to daddy. Oh my god. 
only fires two shots per click, so it's double. It's double, you bellin. I just, I copied it from the wrong one, because the... Uh, the submarine, when you rotate it, it misaligns the entire texture because it's it was never meant to be designed this way. I'll send a picture to this to Niller's so he has nightmares in his sleep about what horrible, horrible things people can do. <laughs> Alright, now do we want the Tunguska to be front forward or do we want two? I want two. Which means I will have to do... Oh, no, hold on. Before I clip that, this would be War 8, right? Malin! Malin! This is the final boss, okay? It has to be unfair. That's why I said you probably want to fly low. <laughs> but don't worry, it'll be underground in the beginning. All of the weapon modules, because... Uh, this will be resting. I'll have to set everything to hold fire in the beginning so it doesn't blow itself up, but it will uh, it won't be able to fire. Even though VCOM might override that, so I'll have to put everything on Invincible, and then remember to take it off of Invincible when it gets close to the AO. I'll remember, right guys? Totally. I'll totally remember. I, uh... I probably won't remember. Okay, so we're at the 10. Uh, I need the hide scripts. Is it wrong that you want one of these IRL? Well, I mean, when we live in some sort of weird post-apocalyptic anime bullshit, by all means, you can you can take what I've designed and make it a reality. <laughs> Copy and paste it so it has those scripts, and now. Let's do a 25 degree rotation. So again, those uh those textures will be hidden, but let's go ahead and Well, oh no, hold another thing we want to do because of um their vehicles. We want to prevent the dismounting. So that would be Forbid Dismount. Should just copy and paste that group, that's fine. Oh, you can't set those as, you can't do group by? Yeah, it doesn't let you. Okay, let's see how that works. You can't dodge that many Tunguskas too many. <laughs> well, Malin, hey, at least you'll have the Apache for uh, for a while. Because I'm not going to send this until at least an hour in. It's the final boss, which means we have to end it with that puppet. What the fra? Oh, you goober. You didn't put the attach commands on the main module. But at least it hit the... Are you kidding me? It keeps the driver's seat? And you get you get to see his little radar. Oh, that's cute. Interesting. Malin, 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 my friend, my friend. It's time to get good, okay? I believe in you. You'll be fine. Uh, the heli is invincible. That's why it's able to fall down to the ground. Because everything attached to it means it's tied to its physics. So it's been falling to the ground every time, not taking damage. Don't worry, it's invincible. I will decide when it's killed. But all of its sub-modules are not invincible. Because it's a subsystem fight. Also, progress. Is there a way to play, um... To give players weapons? I have it for vehicles, but not for weapons, because I'm going to decide what they get. <laughs> I'm not gonna- I'm gonna spare no expense. I'm gonna give him a lot of good stuff, but it's gonna be in stockpiles. Yeah, Monadic, uh, do the mission command. It's in there.
see, but yeah, see how it falls to the ground and rotates like that? And it's still going to be at full health, so don't worry. I'm making sure. Now let's make sure it doesn't infinitely go upward. We have a winner. So, uh, am I... Out of... Out of, uh curiosity here. I'm gonna have to move it because the ground stuff's also going to shoot at the, uh... at it. But let's, uh... MI8 with rocket pods. Let me... Let's see what Malin's chances of survival are. Alright? Because I... I believe in him. You know? I really do. I, I think Malin is going to be fine in that single Apache. And nothing bad is going to happen to him at all. Alright? It's a guarantee. He's going to be fine. You know, because the Tunguska, it's not even... Oh, it are, oh, oh, God, it's already firing. Um... Huh. Well, um... You know what, Malin? Uh, live long and prosper, buddy. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. See, I mean... There's still, there's still four of them. See, they're, they're coming. Oh, God. Um. Ah. Uh, yeah, and then that's the triple A shooting them. From the other weapons. Hey, look, see, one made it. This one's Malin. See, he's fine. Because it only has um, a limited amount of AA missiles. See? See, look at that. He's he's going up there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Huh. I see. So, uh... Like I said, this is going to be the end boss unit, and, uh, good luck, Malin. I'm sure you'll be fine. I, I, I'm sure you'll be fine. See, because cause hypothetically, if I were to throw the Apache up in the air... I mean, you'll, you'll be fine. And then if I were to refill the ammo of these guys, and this is farther away than my spawn. See, it's not aggroing. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's not aggroing at all. So you'll live. I love how it's already starting to, like, crawl. The AI's already detected this and is trying to crawl up on it. Oh. Did it just... See, it's already engaging components of it. See, you'll be fine. You'll be fine until it's, uh... Why is it doing that? No, no, it'll be fine. Just... See, I don't see any missiles going towards it. But look at the look at the great job it's doing. You know? And it managed to take out uh, one of the AA pieces. That's great. It's just, you know, eventually it'll get angry. See, it just did that. See what I mean? You're fine. You're fine. Nothing, nothing bad is gonna happen. You know, why would it? You know, there, there's no such thing as retaliation attacks, right? Not nothing, not at all, you know? So as long as you, as long as you lay low, yeah, you think you're fine, exactly. See, it just, it just fired another uh, lawn bow from its uh, AGMs, you know? It's, uh, it spent a good, like, six of them, you know? You'll be fine. See, watch this thing. It's gonna dodge all of those.
Well, Malin, you know how to dodge, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. Hold on one second. We gotta turn that up. <laughs> Pre-ordering two extra Apaches. All right. Uh, <laughs> Ma uh, Malin, you have three Apaches now. What uh? What other Apaches do you want, buddy? Ordering two extra Apache slash other aircraft for Malin. Yeah, I think I think he'll be fine. Barb, you okay? Why'd you give me that hard sigh? <laughs> Two more of the same. You got it, pal. I might have to make some more space to put these. Here, we'll do air vehicles here, and I'll put ground vehicles there for pre-order and shit. That should be enough clearance. You want an A-10 with tanks on the wings? Here's the issue with attaching things to plane, Beard. Uh, and I've already shown this off, which is why these two VLS systems aren't actually active. They're empty. If a vehicle is turned 30 degrees to the left or right, even if you put a, di a disable disembark command on it, the AI will still disembark if you hold it for over 10 to 15, uh, not even, like 8 seconds. So putting stuff on a plane where it's going to be turning left and right a lot, your crew's just going to end up dismounting, which is why I never do plane attachments, because stuff's just going to dismount on the plane, which is why I've never, like, I use helicopters instead of planes for these big airships. IED draw. You're right. Oh, my gosh. I didn't put that in the specials yet. That's what I've been meaning to do. Oh, I'm so silly. Um... There we go. I added that. Basically, my favorite thing to do, because you can't do proximity satchels on drones, because uh, once the drone detect, like, uh, because it's an entity, when the uh, IED with the pressure plate detects that that entity is next to the drone, it'll detonate no matter what. So there's a few scripted ways to do it, which I've done in the past, but I, um, I just prefer to attach a satchel charge to the top, and then I can choose when to detonate it. Um, so even if it lands, I can still have it explode. And let's see what Tootie gave me, because I didn't read that, because I was, I was speaking. Ah! Probably gonna put like tank cannons on the back here. Pre ordering two Death Corps Grenadier squads. Alright, let me let me write that down. That's part of the secret. Add that to the sticky note. To Craig. That is next to Devourer's list. But let's see. What's the best tank to do? 140s. Because, uh, especially Ks with the auto cannons. On a CSAT camo scheme. But yeah, four of those two front, two rear. I assume Malin's gonna get a gunner with it. We are gonna do death lasers too. You know, I'll just let me let me just grab this pretty surely here. Oh, there's a bug flying around my room. So guys, should the death laser modules be on the front or the back? That's the important question. Is it possible to make a killdozer? Um, I can make a mini one, yeah. No, 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 no. I meant to hit the two button there.
Cool. Blame Tootie for the death lasers. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Alright, let's have a test. Tootie, Tootie, you can't link the secret document. They have to find that. You silly goober. Ah, well. Oh, no, this reminds me of the, um, the Cowboy Bebop. Hey, you didn't have to post that. Why did you post it? Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. We're just going to have to live with it. <laughs> he wiki leaked it. No. No, he wiki leaked it. No. All right, well, let's do uh, a murder everything and see what happens test. So, uh, give me a second. Yeah, cheaper in Naruska's waiting orders. I'm I'm sorry, Mr. AI. I I regret everything I've done. Throw a few auto cannons down as well. A cure off reporting noise, too. I could just add that as a sound bite. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god! What the actual? issue is the lasers killed each other again because they're next to each other so I have to put one front one back but oh my god I just feel like Anakin Skywalker after he pushed Mace Windu out of the freaking window what have I done oh ho, 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 ho. Guys, I really need to pay that mortgage uh, down payment, okay? So please, just, just just shell out the wallets, and I swear my players will hate me for the rest of the year. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I'm a little worried about putting it that close to the, pre uh, the modules, but we can uh, size it up like that instead. So that way they won't accidentally boop each other with the lasers. Oh. I'm, oh god, put it on a UGV. Tootie would have to remake it, though, because he'd have to script out the UGV's weaponry, so you'd have to ask him, Adriato. 
Well, Tootie, if you read through the document and scroll down to where I put the artillery barrages, you can <laughs> make Liru 1009 and Luton Jr. jokes. <laughs> that scares me, though, that it uses the frickin' VLS system. Usually it doesn't, but it actually decided to use it. <laughs> oh, my God. How much for the sub is your air asset? Uh, hazmat? Uh, two grand. <laughs> Pay the mortgage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. If the VLS spots a target, it's gonna commit murder. <laughs> Oh. See, what the crazy thing about Saturday is, is we have to do this, then we have to do FNF Titans, and then TMTM is having its legacy off, which is its anniversary off. So, like, we're going to have a crazy fucking night. Where's the safe? Where's safe when the cruise missile is? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere is safe. Oh. God. I'm... We're gonna need a player base saver. <laughs> I can't. Oh, ho, ho. What are we on? 13? 13. It's okay, Larry, as long as I have the down payment for the mortgage. <laughs> That's all I need. See, and then I'm thinking, like, in the future, we'll do a, we'll do a mini pay for paying after the stimulus checks for the United States comes out, and we'll, uh... We'll do a mini one for Paw Patrol so you can throw your stimulus money at him. <laughs> Pet flowers to officially name the airship Death Zeppelin. So, the reason... The reason I call this thing the USS War Games is because it's, it's for a friend of mine... Uh, War Games Incorporated, who got me my gig at uh, 506, which would normally be impossible, but he was the first sergeant. He had some pull, and I didn't even, when I found him and started watching his stuff, I didn't even realize he worked with the 506 in the beginning, because I was, back in the day, the two people I would simp for is Luton 09 and Jester 814, and Jester 814 turned out to be War Games Inc.'s superior and good friend, so... You know, he got me what I considered early on in my quote-unquote career one of my best things to do, you know, as a fanboy. So I I always remember stuff like that. So I use, uh, I always call this one, this was like my first crazy custom composition I made. So I name it after him to honor him for that regard. Yo, no, I said the S word. No, you're right. No, 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 no. Ah, ah, ah. There. They got me. You're right. You're right. I said the S word. Well, guys, it's been an honor. You can't say simple on Twitch. I forgot. Without the LE, that is. We get banned before pay for pain's a thing. I take the money and run. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Ian's not here right, though, so he can't get me banned. Perfect. All right. <laughs> uh, if Ian types in chat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to run. But he doesn't, he doesn't handle ban, so it's okay. We're okay for now. So it'll be a 50 rotation. On that side. No, no, no. Okay, come on. Oh, 
That might actually be better. Something's off rotation, though. Hold on. Yeah, let's have him face down, worry, but something's definitely off rotation. But what? No, no, Andy T90 is the guy we have to paint 24 7, otherwise, Cthulhu gets summoned. Completely different. Okay, so. Left side rotation. Let's do that. And extend. Because again, the, um, the thing will get hidden. You know what? Better idea. Let's have this as the back bank. And reset its color to black. No, vehicle appearance. Fuck. That's okay. No, it's above you, you goober. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Where's the... Is it on this one? No, one of them you can... Co uh... I hate you. I hate you so much. That's fine. Um, Fifteen, fourteen, sixteen. So do fourteen. Yeah, anyone, any T zero and above can join Pay for Paint if you want to be a part of it. But I, I don't want to rename the War Games because again, it's it's a. It's a commemorance, you know? Because in my YouTube career, I've worked with a lot of cool people, and I've also been burned by a lot of other famous people, and I have so many stories, but... I also decided a few weeks ago I'm going to stop doing that type of smack talk, because it's not worth it. Like, I'll say it behind closed doors to a few friends, but... Meh. You fucking goober. That's the wrong one. We want the auto cannon, don't we? Don't we? Ah! That's okay. Of course we want the auto cannon. No! 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 That's fine. We just do it again. IED coffins, you sick bastard! No! No! That's like... It's like asking them to draw you something furry, but you make it bestiality instead. No! No! I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do have some standards. That's why I didn't put the American flag, a blade of armor, on the fucking battle bus. No! What time is it? 148. Alright, I'm gonna set these cannons up and then we'll give some, uh... Final thoughts here. But again, if you want to pre-order anything, now's the time. If you want anything special made as a custom comp, feel free to ask.
Wait. Did you... Did you just spawn the Ron 1? And... Why does the K model... Is it because you're pulling... Are you pulling it from the wrong place? You... Wait. No, no, okay. Stop it. Stop it. We have that one. Let's let's just do this one. Fucking right, you goober. Okay. This is the one you want. Does it... Can you not change the camouflage of the T-140... Fuck. What? So those are from the CSAT uh, expansion mod. Wait, so why is Ace having this spawn in as a Pacific? Because you're under the Pacific section, you goober. So this one will work. You went to its attributes, you balland. Oh my god, you are so smart. So freaking smart, Liru. So guys, sometimes I wonder how I breathe. Because at this rate... College graduate, everybody. <laughs> it's gonna shut my fucking mouth for a second so I don't get distracted because it's when I speak, my brain goes, oh, two things at once. Let's give everything half assed instead of our usual full ass. Yeah, you gotta remove the fucking text there, you goober. Yeah, a little sticking out like that. Red Martian, thank you for. I didn't even see what. I'm sorry. Again, I get hyper focused because if I look away, I assure you I'm going to screw something up. First stream, but long time YouTube watcher. Righto, Inbred. I appreciate the donation nonetheless, my man. I hope you keep enjoying the content. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're going to get a kick out of. This silly, silly thing we're making. I just... God, my brain is intelligent and very dumb. And oh my gosh. Well, welcome. I will admit we're going to take a break in seven minutes. But let's uh, make sure this works. Because again, everything should be hidden except for the uh, turret chassis and the tracks. Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! You goober! You goober! You almost forgot the attach command list! You... Oh! That would have made it... That would have made everything explode. Okay, up to 19. 
Is it still flyable? <laughs> oh, hazmat. You sweet summer child. This is a rookie creation compared to the fucking bunny we made last night. Well, we didn't make it last night, but we certainly used it. So what, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, we were up to 19, we didn't get to 20 yet. Yes. Do, 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 do. Da, na, na, do, 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 do. Yeah, the bunny. The bunny that uh, was made out of 101, no, 101, 100, 200. Yeah, no, 101 small bunnies that had two giant red eyes and breathed fire on Paw Patrol. Yeah, that bunny. That bunny. I gotta re import it in this mission file, but yeah, that bunny. There is something causing perpetual spikes. I'm gonna have to look into that. Their render spikes. What's causing that? Because that wasn't happening before. That happened when I added the Angaras. So I'll have to look into what's causing that. Because that's not going to be playable, because I hate it when that happens. I know the last thing we had were the tanks, so I'll look into that, but. Might be a group targeting issue. Oh god, they're just civilians. I need to give that laser system more clearance, because otherwise it's going to nuke the Tunguskas. But let me actually do a quick test here. Fire effect on the Tunguska causing that? Well, I bought it back. Is it the laser module itself, Bean? Yeah, so apparently when the Praetorian explodes, it makes the server die. Interesting. But I'm not getting, I'm getting some drops though. Hmm. I might just do one laser module then, but I'm gonna have to be very specific on where I place it. Because I think the server can't handle multiple, because I mean, it's spamming a very deadly effect. But those tanks are causing issues. So I think at most I'll do, um, two. Could also be the, um, the pathing data of, um, the targeting data of the Tunguskas. But yeah, I'm probably gonna keep the laser module on the rear then. But those tanks are causing issues. I think it's because of data sharing. So we'll get rid of those. I mean, it looks cool, but I don't like that. And then we'll get rid of the uh, that one, but I'll... We'll keep that. Hmm.
I don't know what else we really need to add, though, because, again, it's going to mainly be fighting infantry. And it, it'll it lock missiles with the, the VLS, though, for any vehicles. So that might be enough, you know? But I'll, um... We'll see what else we can do with this. I'm going to raise this up until it's on platform to give it some more elevation so it doesn't hit anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it should be good. Oh, right. Hold on. What what was your designation? 12. Okay. Uh cuz I said I would. Twelve. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that were here, you know what I'm doing. For those of you that are new, this is an RHST-14. Let me show you why that's important. Uh, War 12, right? Yeah, perfect. Oh, and I forgot to copy that number. Um, let me Let me show you why... It's important. So RHS are really, really good modders, but they like to experiment on a lot of crazy cool things. So let's make sure that's not lopsided. Perfect. Uh, they were experimenting with a trophy system for their tank. That's gonna be it's gonna be squirreled away right there. And we'll see if those uh, those lag spikes continue when we take it off. But it is 2 o'clock, so this will be the last thing I do. I'll take an hour break, uh, and then we'll be back for Friday Night Fights in an hour. And then in between the NA and EU branch, I'll keep streaming and we'll do more uh, development. Now. Why is that important? Let me show you why. First off, am I getting those spikes? They still exist, but they're not jumping down to 20. They're jumping down to 40. That could just be the Tunguska modules themselves, but at least this is still going to be playable. Let me, let me show you. Let's say I am a poor player, and I want to, uh... I have an RPG I took from a bad guy, and I see this, and I want to, uh... I want to have my moment. Well, here's what the T-14 does. See how that turret now sticks out? And uh, on the bottom left, hard kill triggered mode? Yeah, so if I fire this over, it clearly works as an RPG. You just saw the explosion. But if I want to fire at it, it has a trophy system. So if I fire rockets at it, the trophy system's going to deny it. Now, I, I think I think we need a little more context here. Let me let me uh let me uh <laughs> let me uh Yeah, oh yeah, it also destroys um it doesn't do tank barrels, but it'll do any rocket, missile, or cluster bomb. Or GBU. So let me let me give you an example here. Let's, let's just tell everything. Careless hold fire. Let's get rid of all the ammo. Let's give, uh, let's give the AI a second. It has a shield. We just gave it a shield, guys. Now, the shield doesn't block bullets. But... Let's, let's see the, the circle here. Let's, let's see how big this is. All 
right, so one got through. So the there's weaknesses on the uh, on the rear of the shield. That's where there's some overlap, but so it's not perfect, but. Yeah. You see uh you see the crazy horrifying things we can do? That is a DO28. Oh, that's one of the new uh Werferling assets. But here, um they asked so you're you're asking about AGMs as well. All right, so we know the AGMs will engage from a pretty a pretty big range, right? Give it a second. Oh, you're using your cannons. Well, um... Can I see a missile instead, please, guys? Come on, please. You love me? Use the cannons. Come on! No, not the cannons. The rockets. Missiles. Use the missiles. I think they're acquiring locks right now. Ah, oh, come on. They have all these pylons, they don't want to use them. And two of them are about to try to hump each other. <sighs> oh well. Here. What would uh what would otherwise be effective as well? Um Cormets. Yeah. Let's hope they lock. I mean, even so, if I do a suppress command, it should realistically fire. But I'm trying to prove a point here. There we go. Yeah, so, uh, some of them, again, it blocks to the front. The rear is, uh, a weakness, though. But, yeah, shields. Shields. <laughs> oh. Man, that's... See, it looks like it'll break through, though, if uh, enough get through, but... Shields. Uh, so the Chinook's invincible, so you have to basically destroy all the weapon subsystems. But if everything on the back is on fire, I'll probably just let it go down. But, yeah. It has a shield. <laughs> if I wanted it to be truly unkillable, I would put a second T-14 in the rear. But we have to at least give it a weakness because the player base needs to be able to shoot it down. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I have a I have a lot of footage to sift through here, so I'm gonna take an hour. I'm gonna um, re uh, prep the uh, channel announcement update for March, and we'll get that released probably at like 5:30 or 6 ish. So hopefully by the time EU ends, and we can uh, have that release. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. We'll be back in an hour for uh, FNF EU branch, and then we'll keep the stream going for more pay for pain development, and then NA, and then back to pay for pain. So otherwise, cheers, guys. Have a good one. Or um, Go operate operationally. Yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah, so hopefully I'll see you in an hour.